Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here And in today's video I've got five autographs through the mail TTMs And we're going to open up we're going to start opening up our second box of Tops 2023 Series 1. As always, we will start with TTMs. The first one is from Providence, Rhode Island. And we have got Greg Gagne. He signed 404 in nine days. He had a career batting average of 254. With 111 home runs, 604 RBIs. He also stole 108 bases. He played 15 years, appeared in 1,798 games. He played from 83 to 97. And he played with Minnesota, Kansas City, and, the, and uh, LA. Um, his best year was in 1993 when he hit 10 home runs, knocked in 57. And batted 280. And he also had 10 stolen bases that year. Um, he won two World Series. He was a member, he was a member of both Minnesota Twins uh, World Series teams in 87 and 91. And he is in the Minnesota Twins Hall of Fame. And it is Greg Gagne. I was a little surprised to see that he had, I didn't think he had as many home runs and RBIs as he did. I knew he was a, he was a stud in the field. You know, he was good with the glove, but I was unaware that he had, that he put up six, that he drove in over 600 runs in his career. All right. Our second return is from suburban Illinois. And it is Ron Kittle. He signed three of three in 14 days. He had a career batting average of 239 with 176 home runs, 460 RBIs. He played 10 years, appeared in 843 games. He played from 82 to 91. And he played with the White Sox, the Yankees, Cleveland, and Baltimore. He was the 1983 American League Rookie of the Year. Um, he won. Uh, he was also an All Star in 1983, and that was by far his best year. In that year, he hit 35 home runs, knocked in 100, and he batted 254. He also led. He also led the uh, league in strikeouts. He had 150 strikeouts. And I think that's going to be the last time I write to Ron Kittle. I've gotten him quite a few times. And I'm going to call it quits on Ron Kittle, I think. All right, our third return is from Charlotte, North Carolina. And we have got a racing return. We have got Derek Cope. This is for uh, Caleb's TTM Challenge. This is point number one. We're going to see if we can win this contest. Derek Cope, he signed one of one in seven days. He was the 1990 Daytona 500 winner. He raced 32 years. He competed in 429 races. He raced from 82 to, to 2021. Um, he also won the Dover Budweiser 500 in 1990. And during his career, he had two wins, 32 top 10s, and one pole position. That is Derek Cope. So we got our Derek Cope, our first ever NASCAR racing return here on the channel. All right, next up, we're going to open up our first pack. We're hoping for something really good. And let's see what we got. We're going to start off with Shea 
Langoliers, Cedric Mullen from the Baltimore Orioles. We got Alex Wood, Jonah Bride. Oh, I see a blue card in there. We got Brian Servin. And we got to flip it again. We have got Yvonne Herrera, Seth Brown, Buddy Kennedy. We have a blue Anaheim Angels. Not numbered, just blue. We got a Freddie Freeman, Stars of MLB. We have Mr. Cody Bellinger. We got Alex Cobb, Josh Naylor, Matt Chapman, and that is it. <clears throat> Not a great pack. Not a great one. All right, our fourth return is from Carroll Stream, Illinois. We have got Tim Stoddard. He signs three of three in 18 days. He had a career record of 41 and 35 with a 3.95 ERA. He played 13 years, appeared in 485 games. He played from 75 to 89. And he played with the White Sox, Orioles, Cubs, Padres, Yankees, and Cleveland. And 1980, 1980 was his best year when he went eight or he went five and three with a 2.51 ERA, and he also had a career best 26 saves. He won a World Series in 1983 with the Baltimore Orioles, and he is one of two players to play in a World Series and also the men's Final Four, or, fi or not Final Four, but to play in the championship game in the uh, men's championship basketball championship the other one is the other like I said he's one of two the other one is Kenny Lofton all right so before we get to our last return we're gonna open up one more of these and away we go we got Shohei Otani we got Aaron Nola Corey Lee Max Freed, Carlos Rodon, we got Stephen Kwan, we got Danny Jansen, Kyle Farmer, Brett Beattie, 83 or 88 design rookie card. That's a nice looking card. We got a Jose Ramirez, Stars of MLB. We have Mr. Austin Meadows, Christian Vasquez, Dylan Bundy, and Gary Sanchez. So I think our best card would definitely be that Brett Beatty rookie card from the Mets in that 88 design. All right, so our last return is from Cincinnati, Ohio. We have got Tommy Helms. He signed three of three in 28 days. He had a career batting average of 269 with 34 home runs, 477 RBIs. He played 14 years. He appeared in 1,435 games. He played from 64 to 77. He played with Cincinnati, Houston, Pittsburgh, and Boston. He was the 1966 National League Rookie of the Year. He was a two-time All-Star, a two-time Gold Glover. He is in the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. And his rookie year, when he won the Rookie of the Year, that was his best year. And that year he hit nine home runs, knocked in 49, and batted 284. But look at those chops. Look at those sideburns. Those right there are legendary. And that is Tommy Helms. 
And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.